Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we entered the ND level. Let's get exploring. Sh surely we... Come on. Dude. 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 Okay. Jesus. It took me 20 seconds to get down that ladder. <laughs> I'm mad at this now. Ooh. Ah, it, I think our way is down. I saw a ladder top over there, but we can't use it. Yeah, this is a dead end. Ah, but like all good strategies, let's try spinning the wheel. Basically, tap square. I don't know if you can do this with just one party member tap while you're tapping. Oh, man. Oh, Squall hurt his wrist, the baby. <laughs> what, are you going to contemplate it? I'm tapping it as fast as I physically can. Hey, we only got it, we got it with two party members? I know you can get it with three relatively easily, but I, I get it with... This is the second time ever I've gotten it with just two. Oh well, that makes our progression through here that much faster. Ah. It's stuck on me. So let's head down the ladder. I like this. I, I really like this place. It's got that real... It's got that nice feel to it of well-designed... Go here because... Not because... Oh, it's time for another area to go to. Go here because there's actual plot relevance to the place. So, let's head downstairs. Oh, only way we can. And there's... I don't know what's in this draw point, actually. I've never used it. Full life? Oh, yeah, I'm drawing that. Fifteen of them. Oh, man. If you can get them full life are an amazing thing to junction at this point in the game to your HP. You can use them to prevent against instant death if you're so inclined. I think. I prefer to put them on HP because they give an amazing boost. Okay, so apparently it goes over there to... Oh, uh, one of those tube thingies? What's in it, though? Maybe it was that thing above them. So, yeah, what now? I'll go check it out. I'm feeling brave. Let's climb the ladder. Like a real man. Like a boss. What the... Oh no, no, don't you die on me too. I've already had three party member deaths in the past few episodes. We don't need you dying too, Squall. Okay. I just have trouble getting them to face things because I don't have the sensitivity of a controller. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to play. That opened up another area! Hey, can we use this door to get out? Aww. Yeah, let's go! We, we've pushed a button. Obviously that's all we ever have to do to get by. And we get a brand new camera angle! That gives us a view of a gate. I, I think. No. Nothing new. <laughs> I actually have never picked nothing new. Okay. Push the switch. Flip it. And we get access to the ladder. Very, this place is very straightforward. And we're actually almost done with it already. 
Yeah, we're good to go. Flip this switch to open the door. Safe state. And let's go. It, it must be that easy. What? Whoa. What are what what the what the hell are those things? I, I guess it's time for a boss fight in the most unusual circumstances. We're fighting like giant slugs. These are oil boil. They're weak to fire. I mean, look at that damage, man. Thirty-five hundred. They don't do enough damage to be a threat to me. I think they can inflict blindness, though. Press. Oh yeah, Squall has Ifrit. Ifrit's definitely something to consider. Other GFs. I, I don't like to really cut the mustard as well. So to speak. Um, you can, yeah, you can draw Essena from them. If you really need it. I need it just so that Squall's not blinded, because without him, we're pretty much fucked over. Because of Kotal, physical attack. Don't you dare be doing that to my buddy Squall. And one oil boils down. One to go. This fight is just ridiculously easy. You don't get, there's no GFs to draw, so it's not anything to worry about like the Iguion fight at the end of disc one. And as every boss, oh, 16 wizard stones. Wow, that's amazing. Can put that to some good use. <laughs> and get my mind out of the gutter. Let's continue. Uh, even sped up GFs take forever. <sighs> so, down the ladder we go. Uh oh. Oh, dude. The missiles are getting ready to strike. I wonder where they are in relation to Balam. Oh, dude, is that Balam right there? Oh, no. Dude, we are screwed. Hopefully not, though. There's gotta be time to save Ave Garden. It's my favorite of all places. And my favorite of all. I, I don't know what I was going with there. <laughs> We've reached end of the line. What do we do? It it's a giant metal thing. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Let's do the only thing we can do. Play with this thing. <laughs> Oh man. The more you play the more I play with this, the more I just think brace for epic. That's really what goes through my No. Um we could go back upstairs and watch the missiles hit garden. Oh shit. Dude, the giant metal tower is roaring to life. I I don't know if this is bad. It, it's certainly something different from being hit by missiles. Not sure if I would take this over missiles, because I don't know what it does. Do you, you... Ooh, we're rising. Dude. Ah. Uh, whoa. Sid, move. Sid, no, no, Sid, no. What are you doing standing on that sir? Whoa. That was like magical. What the hell just happened? Whoa. Gardens and... No. No. You're telling... No. Don't even joke like this. You're, you're telling me... That... 
No, 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 no. The missiles are gonna hit us, and that's how the game ends, right? Dude, th th this has to be like the end of the game. Something's different already. I, I can put my finger on it. Don't even... No. It's, it's over, right? Dude, yeah. You see, the missiles are gonna hit Garden, and that that's the end. It, it's over. Blam Garden has fallen. Um, don't tell me that, that... First rule of travel. Anything can become a vehicle. This includes military academies. You've really gotta be kidding me. This is even more practical. Yes, while we're moving. What does this mean? That now, are we gonna send moving missiles to track us? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm more than you want, I'll see you guys later.